Okay, let's see what you've got tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Tonight, I would like you to help me create a brand new magic word. A okay. magic word. But first, I have gifts. You see, I love drawing and colouring in, and I've drawn you each a picture to look at later. This one's for you, Howie. All right. This one's for you, Heidi. Thank you. This one's for you, Sophia. Yes, and this yes. one's for you, Simon. Now, don't peek inside the envelopes. Don't let anyone else touch them. We'll get back to them later. What you're about to see is amazing, but I can't do it on my own. I need help. Luckily, I have lots of friends that love magic just like me. Oh, hello there. Hi, friends. We got a lot of friends. Wow. I'll let each of you to pick one of my friends, pick one of the numbers, and I'll place it in this holder. You get to choose which position it goes in. There are multiple combinations, and the choices are all yours. We'll start with you, Hi. Please name one of my friends. Me? Uh, okay, uh, Mark. And would you like the number 7 or 23? I'll take 7, it's lucky. And where would you like it to go? 1, 2, 3 or 4? First, because I'm first. Okay, so number 1. Heidi, it's your turn. I choose um. Would you like 11 or 26? 11. And where would you like that to go? 2, 3 or 4? Four? 4. Thank you, Heidi. Sophie, it's your turn. Which of my friends would you like? Skylar. And would you like 24 or 10? 10. And where would you like it to go? Two or three? Two. Thanks, Sophia. And Simon, which of my friends would you like? Jordan. Jordan. And would you like one or 15? One. And we'll try something a little bit different with you. Would you like to put it in the last position or swap it out for another one? <laughs> okay. <Take my> position. <laughs> He's taking my position. Okay. Thanks, Simon. Now. Let's look at the drawings you didn't use. As you can see, they're all different. We've got things like Lego, dragons, we've got burgers. So they're all different, yeah? Yes. Let's look at the drawings you did choose. You chose a snake, a slice of lime, a house, and some mountains. Each of you had a free choice of which drawing you wanted and more importantly, where to put it. The snake looks like an S, the lime looks like a C, the house looks like an A, and the mountains look like an M. That's why it's the word scam, right? Right. Yeah. I said that earlier we were going to create a brand new magic word. That can be our magic word. <laughs> Everyone shout scam as loud as they can on the count of three. One, two, three. Scam! <laughs> but what if I told you that we knew what the magic word would be before you even picked it? At the beginning of my act, I gave you each a drawing to hold on to. I'd like to take the drawing out of the envelope and show it to everyone. As you can see, they match. something on the front of their t-shirt, my friends also had something on the back. Look. Word equals scam. Wow. Now, look. Okay, so I'm at AGT. I'm gonna go in, do what I need to do, get out as fast as I can. Okay, let's go. I can't believe I'm actually inside the AGT theatre. Right, there's a desk. Better be quick. Can't get caught. What is he doing? Some there. Oh god, Sam's gonna hate this. What's that? Oh my god, I've got one. Come on. Now you're probably wondering what I did at the desk, Simon. Well, hopefully you're not too mad. Watch this. Whoa, it's a scam everywhere. Look, scam, 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 scam. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> 